Hey guys, Ron here. I'm super humbled by the awesome performance of the previous type swap video, so here's another. As you may or may not know, I'm going to be type swapping Pokemon and then drawing my new creations, but doing it in a way that makes way more sense than the average type swaps you've seen. Instead of swapping Pokemon into random types that obliterate the entire design of a Pokemon, I'm going to design these type swap Pokemon as if they were also regional variants. I'm going to give them backstories and make them actually work in the Pokemon world. I'm trying my best to create regional variants with completely new types like the Fire Ghost Alolan Marowak, but in this video, a few may keep one of their original types, like Galarian Weezing who's still poison, but gets a fairy type added to it. But our first creation will be completely different from its original source. I want to design an Ice Luxray. It's going to be completely white and ethereal looking, almost like a ghost, but why ice? Well, lynxes, depending on the species, are usually associated with the cold. I mean, it's the reason Luxray is found in the coldest region. But then why is Luxray electric? Well, lynxes, because of their reflective eyes, are said to be able to see through objects and even into the soul. In various myths, of course, not, not in real life. <laughs> this translates into Luxray's signature X-ray vision. Because our goal is to keep the concepts of this Pokemon intact, I'm gonna make this ice Luxray part fairy. That way, it will still have crazy eye powers inspired by legendary lynxes. Instead of the ability to see through objects, this ice type Luxray can see into a person's soul. Let's do it. So we're going to sketch over the original Luxray because regional forms are usually in the same pose as the original art, unless the concept is completely different. First I'm going to draw the base parts that aren't going to change, like the face and the paws, but I want the tufts of fur to flow in the icy wind like Alola Ninetales. Exactly like Alola Ninetales, so the entire process is just taking this existing spiky fur and adding conditioner to make it smooth and silky. And you'll see me struggle until the end to make it look naturally curly. His ears are gonna have the signature spikes that lynxes have, and it'll be darker when colored. The tail is stumping me, I, I just added a more Christmassy star since snow. Made it more icy, but it doesn't look right. I think the hair looks way more enchanted now, and I finally decided to make the tail flowy as well. But just like how lynxes have patterns on them, I decided to give Luxray some crystal patterns on it. And I'm just trying my best to give it other famous elements that lynxes have, like the cheek and neck fur. Now it looks furry enough to last through the winter. And in the final design, you'll see that I split the tail, like all cats in Japanese lore and even Pokemon that have split tails, inspired by the Nekomata. And there you have it, Ice Fairy Luxray. Luxray. It's said that this is the original Luxray, but they can only be found deep in the mountains and come out to hunt during the thickest of snowstorms. Only they can see through the endless white, using their eyes to sense the soul of any living being. When they locate their prey, they'll freeze them solid. While ruthless, some Luxrays will show compassion to those trapped in snowstorms, perhaps because they can tell whether a soul will harm them or not. They are great judges of character. This Luxray either has snow cloak or keen eye, with the hidden ability, telepathy. It's definitely a viable alternative to Luxray and is inspired by my favorite regional form, Alolan Ninetales. I tried to make it endearing. Now it's time for a fan favorite concept, Ghost Parasect. Many fans have created their own interpretations of a dead Parasect, and now it's my turn. Parasect is basically a zombie, but it's still alive, just controlled by the mushroom. Just like in real life, parasitic fungi like cordyceps take over the body of insects in order to spread their spores, and when they're done with the body, some will basically explode out of the zombie bug. Our parasect will have a hole on its back, kind of like a Shedinja, which makes sense since I theorize that a parasect is some kind of cicada. The concept will make more sense visually, so let's go. I mean, I'm starting off by giving the guy a happy parasect face with some pupils. He's gonna be floating, so his body is facing down, and his pincers are pretty much the same. Now, just like a Shedinja, his husk or exoskeleton is gonna be split and pried open since the mushroom blasted off its back. Now I'm gonna decompose its body a bit, and then I decided that it'll have constant gas coming out of its back that is a mixture of spores and its soul. Kind of like a smoke trail from the mushroom that rocketed out of its back. It also mimics the parasitic mushrooms that grow vertically out of the insects in the real world. Just adjusting things here and there. And there you go, Ghost Bug Parasect. After killing its host, the mushroom on its back exploded off, spreading its spores and leaving a massive hole in Parasect's back. Now a cloud of spores constantly flow out of Parasect as it has combined with the Pokemon's soul. This Pokemon is extremely dangerous to be around, it can infect anybody around it, but now that it has regained control of its body and is no longer at the mercy of its mushroom, it can control the spores that flow out of it. It isolates itself until it gains full mastery of its spore control, so that it doesn't infect any other Paris eggs. Its afterlife goal is to hunt down and destroy the mushrooms that have persecuted its species. It still has the ability Effect Spore, but now has the hidden ability Spore Cloud 
cloud, which makes all physical moves go last, since its opponents hesitate to go near it. This heavily compensates for its lack of speed too. While Parasect is now cursed with isolation, it is happy that it's finally free of the mushroom's control. I like how, like Shedinja, you're not supposed to look at the hole on its back, but in this case, it's because you'll get infected by its spores. This is one of the few regional forms I made that could actually be an evolution. So if I make my own fan game, I may redo the stats and incorporate this Pokemon. Now in the previous episode, I made an electric Slackoth, so make sure to check it out to understand the full story of this regional form and why it's now electric. But the short story is that the Slackoth is active now, but drains out and must recharge in its Vigoroth evolution stage before evolving into slacking and rampaging again. So let's make a sleeping Vigoroth that charges like a battery. I mean, it's basically a sleeping Vigoroth. Just make the face with a drooping tuft of hair. I also want the hair to act like a cap of a battery. You know, the little, the little nub on its on the top of a battery. You know what I'm talking about. And since this Pokemon is like a charging battery, it won't be lying down, but rather sitting while sleeping with its arms wrapped around its chest like a big boy. I'm giving it some of the electrical patterns I gave its pre-evolved form and designing the feet. I never drew any creature in this meditative position, so it was tricky, but it turned out okay. You'll see that, like a Duracell battery, its color scheme is dark on the bottom and lighter on the top. Now feast your eyes, just don't wake him up. Electric Vigoroth. Because it has used all of its electricity as a slackoth, it must recharge while preparing for evolution. It is constantly asleep, but still feels what is going on around it using its electrical sense. It will shock you if you approach it. With its control of electricity comes control of the muscles of its body. It has shut off all electrical signals into its muscles, including its eyelids, so they cannot be disturbed. It's preparing for a monumental and legendary awakening. Its ability is comatose. It can do all that a Komala can do. I love how the concept of this family still makes total sense when you reverse it. I would love for this video to do well too so I can make part 3 and finally design an electric slacking. But let's continue with the regional forms of Plusle and Minden. I'm gonna play with the positive and negative aspects of these Pokemon and create a Plusle that feeds on positive emotions and a Minden that desires negative emotions. A set of good and evil twins, fairy and dark. Let's do it. Plusle will be pretty much the same, but with more fluffy accents, and I want the accents of both of them to be opposite, so I'm gonna create them at the same time. The opposite of fluffy is spiky, right? But I thought since one Pokemon is positive, that the negative Pokemon should have droopy and or floppy ears. Instead of a plus and minus, in the cheeks, we'll give them an up arrow and a down arrow. I made the ears snakes for some reason. I thought he should be able to attack with his ears, but in the end I scrapped them and decided to make the ear fur scruffy. Some eyelashes that become eyeshadow in Minden's final product. And there they are, Fairy Plusle and Dark Minden. Fairy Plusle has evolved to store and release good aura instead of electricity. All it wants in life is to output positivity and create a good time. It can make anybody happy and is used around the world as a therapeutic animal, but this Pokemon cannot deal with negativity. It simply doesn't know how to process it and therefore avoids difficult situations and even abandons those who can't provide it with the happy life it desires. This has made Plusle unbalanced, therefore the best of them have learned to become companions to dark type Minans who feed on negativity and output bad vibes. Like yin and yang, they complete each other and create a cycle of balance. One will spiral out of control without the other. Plusle makes sure that Minen doesn't get into trouble, and Minen makes sure the Plusle is strong in the face of adversity. They have the same exact stats and ability as their electric type counterparts, but Plusle's hidden ability is Pixelate, while Minen's hidden ability is a new dark type version of the ability called Corrupt, turning all normal type moves into dark ones. Again, I love how these concepts will still work with a completely new type. I just noticed the arrows kind of look like hearts, just like how in a Taijutsu, the Yin has some light inside and the Yang has a dot of darkness. So does the Dark Minen have a heart on his cheek and the Plusle has an upside down heart, the opposite of what it represents. Let's end it off with another fan anticipated form, a Fairy Ghost Bayonet. Instead of a ghost doll with a grudge, this ghost possesses a plush that was loved and satisfied with its owner. It's very similar to the Pokemon I made in my video creating new Pokemon 3, so check that out if you haven't, but this time it's gonna be a bayonet form. Instead of triangle ears, we'll give it round ones like the ears of a teddy bear. Its smiling mouth is sewn shut so its essence never leaks and its eyes are modeled after a shuppet's. Its body is straight up the body of a stuffed animal, and instead of zipper handles, we have a bow that fulfills the same aesthetic. And now just a smaller version of the flowing hair thing that it has on its head, and some eyeliner like a shuppet. And that's more like it, a fairy ghost bayonet. Wow, th this is definitely the fairy ghost episode. Bayonet's desire to give love to a new trainer is its driving force. It's obsessed with the idea of finding a person as thoughtful and kind as its original owner. As a result, it's actually very picky and has high standards. It will only listen to those with a pure heart. They're known to be good companions of Mimikyu, and even help them find trainers of their own. 
Bayonets are skilled in comfort and empathy. Instead of sticking pins into its body to lay a curse, like the Hoenian bayonet does, this bayonet sticks pins inside its body in order to understand the pain of its loved ones. It has the new ability, Empathy, allowing it to constantly copy the opponent's stat boosts without the use of Psych Up. Its hidden ability is Friend Guard. I hope you enjoyed these creations enough to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like these. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I will post final full artwork of these forms from time to time, and check the description for the music I used, the t-shirts I made for you guys, and my Patreon where you can get cool rewards like seeing my videos days early, or click the join button for the same rewards and more. Bye!